guys, so I just got back home from an all-day shoot. I was on set with Elle working on a project together, and um, I am just wanted to kind of sit down and talk to you guys and film. I've been thinking about it kind of all day, kind of just wrapping my head around the thoughts and like what I wanted to say, and um, this is not a rant video at all or anything like that. I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys on a more personal level than sometimes. I'm always, you know, just like peppy and happy and fun and I have sad days, I have bad days, I have days where I'm just kind of in a funk and I've had a few of them lately um, and by the way in case you didn't know I'm in like my den slash office slash day bedroom and I didn't have bedding for it yet so I threw some throw pillows on there in the blanket that's typically on my couch just so it kind of looked done up behind me and I don't have like the perfect lighting set up or anything which I'm not even that good at lighting anyway so this probably will look better than what my typical videos look like and this is so much easier but that's besides the point. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys just because I've been having a few bad days lately and um, it had nothing to do with anything in particular. I think a lot of little things just kind of added up and just kind of made me sad and I'm sure everyone out there in the entire world gets them. I am human. I know that I do my videos all the time and I say, you know, my screen just went black. I say, I'm going to do Afternoons in June. That is a series that I created just because I wanted to do it. I enjoy doing YouTube videos. Nobody told me that I needed to do it. Nobody said, you know, this is what you have to do or anything like that. It's just a series that I wanted to put up a video every other day in June. And um, the other day I was working on my video and my friend called and asked last minute if I wanted to go see The Voice semifinals live. And that's the type of thing I've always wanted to go to like you know, um, they have Dancing with the Stars and American Idol and The Voice and The Bachelor, Tell All and all those things live. And I've always thought how cool would it be to be able to go to one of these live, but I never knew like how you got in. Like, I don't know, do you buy tickets? Do you just, is it like a line? I don't know. Um, so my friend called and I was like, yeah, I'd love to. I mean, I even tweeted about The Voice like when this season started and I was like, oh my gosh, I love it, you know, so it's something that I was really, really excited about and I tweeted to you guys that I was going to The Voice and not even five minutes later, I had so many tweets that were like, what about today's afternoons in June? And I know that it wasn't bad intentions, you guys weren't saying mean things about it or anything, but it was just kind of one of those things where I felt like this was a little bit of not a once in a lifetime opportunity but I don't know if I'm ever going to be invited to go to The Voice again you know so I was like I kind of wanted to do it and I just felt a little bit trapped between whether I do that or whether I stay home and do my afternoons in June video so it was pretty early on in the day that we had to leave we had to leave by like two o'clock so I was like okay well maybe I can work on it when I get home but then I didn't end up getting home until really late and so I just wasn't doing it and I was already down and I've already been having a few bad days so the video didn't go up and then the next day I was kind of working on filming and stuff and I read my comments, I read my tweets. I've had to grow a pretty thick skin when it comes to um, the things that are said to me on there and most of the time I just roll it off. I don't really let it bother me. Um, when I was younger it used to get to me but I've been doing this for five years now like it doesn't really get to me anymore. But when I'm already having sad days, I almost just feel like sometimes it's just like kicking someone when they're down. Like I was already upset and reading these things that are being said about me as a person were just frustrating. And I couldn't quite, I sat down for two hours trying to film a video and I just couldn't get those thoughts out of my head. I was like, nobody's going to like this video. No, like I just two hours went by of me trying to film a happy peppy video and I just would stop in the middle of it and just be like thinking to myself about the things that I had read and stuff and I don't typically let these things get to me but I think since I was sorry I think since I was already down and then I was reading this it was kind of like one of those like the last thing you needed kind of thing you know I still have every intention of finishing up my afternoons in June I still have every intention on you know I'm filming tonight I'm gonna film tomorrow after our shoot because we have to go back again we have a 4 30 a.m call time tomorrow morning obviously I'm human I'm not an alien as much as sometimes I'd like to believe I was um but I read your comments and I read things are said and I've responded to people sometimes that they've been 
turned around and been like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't think you would see that. Like, I thought it was funny, blah, blah, blah. And some people, if I respond to them, they'll just, you know, fight back and say meaner things, which I, you know, whatever. But I just kind of wanted to throw it out there. I do see the comments and I do read everything you guys are saying. And I kind of, you know, the voice thing got me down because I felt like it was something that I really wanted to go do. And it was one of those things that I was like, when's the next time this opportunity is going to come around? Maybe never. And then I was working on another video and it was a sponsored video. So I took my own money and went out and bought an iPad mini to give away in that video. And I was getting just a lot of comments and stuff that were like, we know you got paid more than that amount for this video. You should be giving away more iPad minis. Why only one? You're so cheap. And it was just one of those things where I was, I was so excited about that video and so excited about getting the iPad mini to give away. I don't even have an iPad mini. And sometimes things are going on in my personal life that I don't want to talk about. I know I talk to you guys about so many things on these videos, but I have things that are going on that maybe I just need my own time to process and register. Just a lot of things that I go through that maybe I'm not ready to share yet. And so I may be having a bad day and you may think that your comment doesn't mean anything, but it's almost, it's kicking someone when they're down. And I just, I wanted to let you guys know that I do read your comments and stuff. Um, and that I'm a real person. I'm not just a picture behind a screen. This isn't just my job. You know, I started doing this before I knew that you could make money off of it. This was a complete hobby. And I wanted to do afternoons in June just because I like doing videos. And it kind of is a little bit discouraging when I'm trying and you know, yeah, I missed a day, but then I put up two videos back to back and stuff. And then I missed the next day for the voice. And then I was like, oh, you know, I'll do it the next day. And then I was just thinking about everything that had been said and I was just having a hard time with it and stuff. Um, so I have every intention still to finish afternoons in June. I am going to film more tonight. I'm gonna film more tomorrow. I'm gonna film more the next day. Video is starting to get rambly and I'll finish up, but there is a book out there if you guys haven't read. It's called 13 Reasons Why, and I feel like it really puts a lot of perspective. I'm not sitting here saying I'm suicidal or anything like that. I mean, 100%, but it's about, it's a story about a girl who ends up committing suicide and left a voice note to the 13 people that, I guess it's, it's like about a bullying story kind of, but she left a voice cassette tape to 13 people in her high school talking about how their tiny actions, to them, it may have felt like it wasn't a big deal, but you put all the 13 reasons together and that girl was going through such hard things that people didn't know on the outside and she ended up committing suicide. And you know, I'm not sitting here trying to say that I'm suicidal or anything like that, but I am sitting here saying sometimes the tiny comments that you think I won't even see, or if I do see, they're gonna roll off my shoulder like they typically do. If I'm already down, sometimes they just put me down there. Um, so that was the point of this video. I'm gonna go get working on some more happy topic beauty videos. And I think I'll do a fashion video tonight and then hit the hay because it is going to be a very early morning tomorrow. I am, you know, doing all of the videos. They may be a little bit late. I may be putting up a video every day for a little while to try to, you know, get myself back on schedule and this, shoot thing happened very suddenly and we didn't know what was going to happen as quickly as it did so now that's throwing things into it and it's a full you know days thing but yeah i guess that's all i really wanted to say but i hope you guys are having an awesome day and i will talk to you guys later hopefully very soon